Yo, how's it going everybody? Ray here. Hope you're doing well. What I got for you today is a story time video. Kind of interesting. Before I get into it though, I wanted to quickly announce some stuff. Uh, I started posting again on my second channel. I do kind of want to start using it more frequently, probably for rants and that sort of thing. I don't really know, but if you didn't know that I have a second channel, now you know. There's been quite a few people, quite a few new people subbing to the channel and it's been going great. So thank you guys so much for all your support. As cliche as that sounds, the thing is when you're a viewer, you hear it all the time. But as a content creator, just the fact, just knowing that people care about you and Sometimes to me, it's still kind of weird to think that people actually watch my content. I average about 400 views per video now and the sniper main video that I did did really well. So thank you guys so much for that. I understand there's some people out there too that are kind of sick of, you know, sniper videos and stuff, but that's what I mean and it is my channel and at the end of the day I'm gonna post what is interesting to me because if I make videos that I don't want to be making they aren't gonna be interesting to you either and I know a lot of people obviously you like watching someone have fun it probably brightens up your day and I like doing it as well so it's a pretty much a win-win situation there it's kind of late to be mentioning it as well but I do have a discord set up the only place where I really talked about it was my Twitter never really publicly talked about it on my channel so if you didn't know now you know the link will be in the description below I'll start linking it in videos as well my point is just drop by join it if you want to and sometimes I'll hop on by and you can say hi to me and we can have a talk I usually reply to what goes on in chat so that being said if you have anything that you want me to see fan art or all that kind of stuff just direct it at me and I'll get back to you and it should be pretty fun for everyone really now that you've sat through my shameless self-promotion we can get to the actual story so this happened in grade 12 it was my last year of high school I don't really want to be thinking about it to be honest but it's not about the studying it's about what happened so I was sitting in science class and I think this was was during lunch I was just kind of messing around with a friend and I was looking on the TF2 website I don't know what update came out but there was an update that we were sort of looking at I think we were we might have been looking at the patch notes and we had a student teacher at the time I should also mention for context for newer viewers that you probably haven't seen my older videos my last two years of high school grade 11 and grade 12 were spent in India and when we were sitting in that class, my friend and I, I should also mention that no one was in that classroom except for a student teacher that was there at the time. And I think he was only around for about three more months after this incident occurred. But it came as a really big surprise. So uh, we were looking at the patch notes or the update or whatever was going on. We were looking at the TF2 website, obviously. And he kind of came around our backs, kind of teased us for a little bit that we weren't actually doing any work and that we shouldn't have been in the classroom because they had this weird rule where you couldn't be in a classroom at lunch if you weren't actually doing work or if a teacher didn't, you know, supervise you. And we got kicked out a ton of times at lunch lunch just because we were in a classroom and we technically weren't supposed to be there and because we were rebels we went right back in after the teacher that was supervising the hallway left so that pretty much happened but when the teacher saw my my laptop screen he was like oh so you guys are into tf2 which was a really big surprise because first of all student teacher i think he was from the u.s um, and there was it was really weird, but it was kind of cool as well I mean, how else would you react in that situation? I pretty much went along with it And yeah, I told him that we play tf2 and I think I might have told him about my channel as well I can't really remember that though and he told us that he played UGC platinum He played in platinum and he was a medic main This was a really big surprise and there isn't much point to this story other than it's such a small world out there because I never really followed up with any details or any questions to sort of get more information out of him. I was kind of like, okay, well, that's that's really cool. What are the odds? I mean, in India, I think he was about maybe 26, 27, uh, if I had to guess. And I kind of saw him around. We, My friend and I, we saw him walking around sometimes. We saw him at lunch. 
He was never our teacher, he taught I think grade 7 or grade 8 science and I asked him, we both kind of asked him if we could add him on Steam even though it was kind of a joke because obviously it's kind of weird considering your students. Even though we weren't his students and we were in grade 12 so I guess it wasn't really that odd but obviously he declined, he said no that's kind of weird. We weren't his students though so I don't really see it, I don't really know why he thought that would be weird but Again, you know, it's it's a small world out there. Now the sad part is I really wish I had more to talk about this story. I wish I had more details. Unfortunately, I don't because the teacher wasn't even there for the whole year and I don't even remember his name now, which again, all of it is really fuzzy, but I think I talked to him about my TF2 career, so to speak, and I told him when I started and uh, I told him how much I played. Of course, way too many hours, but um he also said that he stopped this was way back like probably a couple of years ago and that that was pretty much the end of it naturally because the story was so short it was almost pointless i guess the only point it serves to prove is that just you know be cautious with the people around you i guess and be considerate of other people now that i finished giving you this empathy lesson um i also want to talk about some plans i have for this channel so again, thank you guys so much for subbing, for supporting me. I'm trying to work on more live stuff currently, and I think I might make a video on TF2 Center or maybe some matches there because apparently that website's still around and kicking. I thought it was dead, but Runex told me it's not, and I did check some of the matches that were going on in there when I could, and yeah, it's still kicking, It's so I might try and do that. I also had a video planned where I would talk about my auto exec CFG, talk about more technical stuff about TF2 that some people might not know of because you have no idea how many people I talk to. I met Dr. Lovecat in real life which was really amazing to be honest and uh, he was a really cool guy and he had no idea what an auto exec was and I've had other people on Steam also had have no idea what it is and I wanted to talk about that so Probably some more technical videos coming up, maybe talking about how I make my videos and stuff like that. I'm still gonna try and at least have one upload per week. Of course, I work nine hours a day, six days a week, so it's very difficult to have a consistent schedule and not just totally fuck up my video quality. I really don't want to be doing that, and I want to be making things I enjoy making. So, yeah, just remember... Um, I'll be around and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for this video. Sorry It was kind of a pointless one, but I hope you guys have a great one and stay tuned for more You really spread the word and had people thinking I'm worthless really put on a show and went ahead and pulled the curtains Like I ain't play a part in your life. That shit is crazy. So how you were me right after calling me baby Hope you would have my son one day, but girl you're fucking shady, but everything you used to break me is everything that